Hey, hi, hello. This is Saruna from A4 Analytics, and today we're going to see about how to hide the filter design using buttons. Stay tuned. In our last video we have seen how to uh, switch the visualizations using buttons if anyone missed out you can see the link in the top right of the screen so you can see the video and come back again today we have another idea so how about hiding the filter section entirely and uh, using buttons and utilize those spaces for other uh, parts of a report what I mean by that yeah I show that here uh, we have so right now we have uh, so we're gonna have utilized few features that Bobby offers the first one is of course a button and second one is the most valuable feature the Power BI has the bookmark we're gonna combine both the features and make this thing happen how are we gonna make it sure I'll show that so we're gonna start with creating a button so instead of so we're gonna create a blank button so instead of starting from scratch so you have another button so we're gonna utilize it copy and paste okay so uh, I'm going to change the text of it. I'm going to change the text to filter. So it is fine. I'm going to turn the action off. So this will be a pretty light black color filter. It's very helpful for us. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a two slicers. A slicer um, maybe with a market area. So I'm going to make it a drop down. okay fine i'm gonna copy paste it to have the same dimension of the first filter just optimizing i'm gonna replace market area with market area okay fine so if you click a market area you see the data members say market area you see the data members okay so for designing purpose, so I'm gonna add a, a rectangle. Uh, how about rectangle? I'm gonna keep over it. I'm gonna turn off the fills, so we may have to see the slices below it. And uh, I'm gonna create a small space in the left side to keep another button here to hide this entire slices the shapes we, we have used so so what shape I want to use so I'm gonna use button back shape so this is very appropriate one for this tutorial I'm gonna shrink it okay night and knees nice and neat now so we're gonna we are clicking it here and there is not working at all why it's not working we're gonna use a bookmark to achieve this and also the action the button action so we don't have a bookmark panel so we're gonna enable it bookmark and by the way we need a selection for this to surely see which items are hiding and which one is showing or also to enable the show and hide of different elements 
in the layers so if I click the filter button it's gonna show all the things again oh my god okay, move this. okay. if uh, if I click the filter button it's gonna show uh, all the items the shape the button the slices if I click this button the back it needs to go back gonna hide all the items and go back to the real state okay so now we achieved the second one so we're just creating a bookmark out of it so I'm gonna rename it I'm gonna say um, horizontal filter panel yeah we have this now we're gonna hide all of them when we hit this button right I'm gonna hide uh, the slices first slices hide the market area market tire we're gonna hide uh, the shape I'm gonna hide the button I'm gonna create a bookmark out for this I'm gonna name it filter panel maybe level one helpful so we we have created a two bookmarks one is to show the slicer panel another is to hide the slicer panel so what can i do we gonna put an action to this so enable the action for the buttons so we need to change the type into a bookmark and uh, we're going to select the bookmark we have used that is a filter horizontal filter panel show me the gonna change the tooltip show me the filter area perfect so i have pressed the control and i do left click i can able to see the filter panel so what now if I gonna after doing the selection here if the users click this button back button it needs to go to the state one that is a level one how gonna do this so when we hit this we gonna uh, yeah we have created a bookmark already for this so bookmark So we're gonna select filter panel level one and a small tip to tooltip so it is always good to have a tooltip to a new users so hide the hide the filter area perfect so I have pressed the control when I click this boom gone so when i click this i will have a slicer if you want to hide this it goes wonderful so so we are actually this thing and uh, and thank you so much for your time and looking forward for the next video see you guys peace